Tonight, another big story. One of two suspects accused of murdering a Clark Atlanta University student was denied bond today. We were the first to report that Jones, uh, Jordan Jones, is accused of killing her roommate, Alexis Crawford. Jones's boyfriend, Baron Brantley, is also charged in the murder. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live outside the Fulton County Courthouse, where, Ashley, you're learning new details about the tragic case. Yeah, this is such a heartbreaking case. Jordan Jones attorney argued for her to be let out of jail on bond. He says she's no threat to the community or any one individual, but prosecutors say Jones is right where she belongs behind bars. Shackled in, in a blue Fulton County jail jumpsuit, 21 year old Jordan Jones sat stoic at her bond hearing. This young lady who is 21 years old has no significant criminal history at all. But now she's charged with murder. Prosecutors arguing for her to remain behind bars. She has a significant risk of committing felonies due to the actions after uh, the homicide. Police believe Jones took part in the brutal murder of Alexis Crawford. The other suspect, her boyfriend, Baron Brantley. Police say after a fight, Brantley and Jones strangled Crawford, stuffed her in a plastic bin, then dumped her at a DeKalb County Park. She had sent a message after she helped stuff um, Miss Crawford's body into the Rubbermaid tote to a friend asking her to replace that tote. Prosecutors told the judge that Jones had already withdrawn from Clark Atlanta University with plans to skip town. The majority of her ties are, if not all of them, are um, out of this Michigan. Days before the murder, Crawford filed a police report accusing Brantley of sexually assaulting her. Jones' attorney says his client was supportive of Crawford during that time. And spent however much time was necessary for her to be at Grady. Although prosecutors say Jones told Crawford's family no DNA was found in that rape kit, today prosecutors say Brantley Seaman was indeed found inside Crawford's body. Jordan Jones's behavior has, uh, has been diabolical from the very beginning. Now, Jones' attorney says she withdrew from Clark just in the last 48 hours, and not because she was planning to skip town, but ultimately the judge denied bond. Now, Baron Brantley's bond hearing will be tomorrow morning, as well as the preliminary hearing for both of the suspects. Of course, CBS 46 News will be inside of the courtroom. Live in Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.